chemistry and you are watching Cam Science. In this video, we will see that what are the main changes done to the 9701 chemistry A levels from 2022 onwards. So we will see first what are the main changes done to the syllabus, then what are the topics which are removed from the earlier syllabus or which are shifted to AS level and then what are the other changes done to the papers. So let's first start here with the first change which is done in the topic lattice energy and Bonhaber cycle where a small topic has been added which says explain the factors affecting the electron affinity of the elements which was not there in the earlier syllabus and also describe and explain the trends in the electron affinity of group 16 and group 17 elements so these are the two subtopics which are added to this chapter all other topics are as such then the next chapter, the next topic where the standard electrode potentials, standard cell potentials and the Nernst equation is covered in that one subtopic is added which says understand and use of the equation where delta G and electrode potential and Faraday's constant is related. So this equation use is added which wasn't present earlier in the syllabus. Other than that, in the topic 25.2 partition coefficient, one subtopic which says understand the factors affecting the numerical value of the partition coefficient in terms of the polarities of the solute and the solvents used. Earlier we used to uh, study the concept of the partition coefficient and how to calculate the partition coefficient with the given concentration or if the partition coefficient is given how to calculate the concentration that was added now we are studying the factors affecting the values of the partition coefficient in terms of polarities and the next change is done in the topic transition elements the chapter transition elements where it says describe the reactions and perform the calculations involving manganate and dicarboxylic acid in the suitable data. Manganate ion and ferrous ion in acid solution given if the suitable data and the copper ion and the iodide ion with given suitable data. In the earlier syllabus we could have seen that this topic was already present but the A topic and the C topic where manganate reacts with the dicarboxylate ion and copper ions react with the iodide ion that is added. In the same topic of transition elements, the next subtopic perform the calculations involving the other redox systems given that is also added. So you need to perform some calculations related to the above given redox systems. Next subtopic is 28.4 stereoisomerism in transition element complexes which says deduce the overall polarity of the complexes described in the geometric and optical isomers. So earlier we used to make the geometric and optical isomers of a given complex. Now we need to deduce the overall polarity of the complexes that is added. Earlier the polarity of complexes wasn't present there. Now only this many changes and this many subtopics are added. No major topic is added. Only few changes in the subtopics. Now let's see what are the topics removed from the syllabus. The first one is hydrogen oxygen fuel cell is removed. Second, distinguish between the primary, secondary and tertiary structures of proteins and explain the stabilization of secondary structure including the bonds of carbonyl group and NH bonds and the tertiary structure through the interactions between the R group this whole topic is fully removed. So now what are we supposed to do is just as an introduction of primary structure of the proteins in the topic polymerization because that's again a kind of polyamide. So only an introduction of the primary structure of protein is covered. The rest secondary structure, tertiary structure and its explanation everything is removed now. In the same topic of polymerization it is also removed that describe how the polymer acts as a non-solvent based adhesive epoxidase in superglues. This subtopic is removed. Also, conducting polymers like polyacetylene is also removed. 
the next topic from the polymerization itself saying that explain the significance of hydrogen bonding in the pairing basis of dna in relation with the replication of genetic information this topic is also removed in fact the structure of dna only the basic structure was included earlier but now this basic structure of dna is also removed totally from the polymerization so now we are not supposed to cover the structure of proteins and dna in the polymerization now let's see what are the few topics which are shifted from a levels to as levels that is from grade 12 to grade 11 and that are mass spectrometry and ph curves these are the two sub topics which are shifted from a levels to as levels now what are the changes which are made to the exam papers now that we can find out from the syllabus given and also from the specimen papers which we have noted that the data booklet will no longer be provided to the papers 1 2 and 4 wherever any data is required this data will be supplied provided with the question itself so if we need ionization energy bond energy or the data is related to mra nmr shifts or carbon 13 shifts or any other data that will be provided with the question itself in the question paper I mean the all papers that will contain a data table of commonly used constants, and at the end there will be a periodic table also. Now this is provided just like what is provided in it provided in the IGCSE exam paper. So periodic table at the end of the question paper and some commonly used constants will also be given in a table. So we can see that there are only few. changes done in this syllabus no major changes no major chapters are removed or added minor changes are done but we need to be careful for writing the exam papers because we need to learn few extra things and few topics can be omitted or ignored while learning so here are the changes to the syllabus 9701 chemistry a levels paper